These are the latest graduates of the Nigerian Defense Academy. They are members of the 71 regular course. The graduates include Direct Short Service Course 28 of the Nigerian Army and Direct Short Service Course 32 of the Nigerian Air Force. A total of 800 cadets comprising of Army, Navy, Air Force and some from other allied African countries are concluding a five-year military training and the beginning of the journey into the military. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Tajuddin Abbas, is representing President Bola Tinubu at the event. He's accompanied by Governor Obasani of Katuna State. As the reviewing officer, the representative of the President inspects the parade set up by the cadets. Those in attendance also include the service chiefs, some ministers and heads of other security agencies. The cadets display colorful march pass in both slow and quick time amidst the beautiful renditions from the academy's band. May I respectfully request the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy The Speaker of the House of Representatives gives marching order to the military to ensure that no part of the country is held captive by the nation's enemies. I therefore emphasize strongly that the NDA team, under any guise, must never undermine the training of candidates for effective military purposes. This is because training in its essence prepares the soldier's heart, mind and body for military professionalism. Our soldiers and officers must never be exposed to the scam and ridicule of criminal elements because of fear or weak fighting power and spirit. These criminals have tested our soldiers enough, and I'm saying here, enough is enough. He also charges the newly commissioned officers to put in their best as they join their counterparts in the effort to safeguard the nation's territorial integrity. He also pledges to improve the welfare of relatives of fallen heroes. In this regard, I wish to direct the leadership of the Nigerian Armed Forces to work out a robust policy proposal to the government with a view to alleviating the suffering of families of soldiers and officers affected by the trauma of the loss of their loved ones who paid the supreme price. The high point of the event is the presentation of awards to distinguished cadets.